Hello, welcome to EverydayHDR.com. My name is Blake Rudis, and today I want to talk about a creative camera raw technique that I figured out recently. But what I also want to do is invite you to EverydayHDR.com, and more specifically, subscribe to EverydayHDR.com. If you just put your email address right here and press that subscribe button, it takes two seconds, that will sign you up for my uh, newsletter that I do every once in a while. I don't spam your inbox with tons of different newsletters that are pointless that you don't like. I'm only going to do it with stuff that you're going to want to see. Typically tutorials, new tutorials, as well as um, ebooks. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, I highly su suggest that you subscribe because you'll see news coming from me often. Uh, okay, so get into this creative camera roll thing. So recently I had a buddy from Australia, Damian Parker, we email back and forth all the time. He had asked me a question about uh, neutral density filters and how he could possibly fake one in post-processing. Now, in the email I said to him, just go ahead and go into Photoshop, select out that area, and try to use some uh, Gaussian blurs or some type of blur filter to do it. But then I got to thinking about it, it really stuck with me. How can you do that? I know there's got to be a way. So in Camera Raw, I started to notice that as I play with the clarity slider, because I always move my adjustments back and forth, back and forth real quick, as I play with clarity, that starts to look like a neutral density filter, doesn't it? So I'm going to put that back to where it was, and what we're going to do is I don't want that clarity to hit the whole image because it looks gross. I'm going to go and press K for the Adjustment Brush tool. Now in the Adjustment Brush tool, uh, you're going to see this panel open here. Just go ahead and move that clarity down. If you press the minus button or the plus button on any one of these adjustments, it's only going to affect that adjustment. So any of the uh, sliders that might have been messed up, let's go ahead and move them around when I first get in here. If I press the clarity button negative, it resets all of them. So go ahead and just do that. Just hit the clarity button negative. Now, I'm going to press show mask and I'm going to just start painting out that uh, ground area. I want a relatively small brush. It takes a little bit more time to select, but the smaller the brush, the more detailed the selection is, and the less risk I have of selecting things on the outside that I don't necessarily want, like the grass. So I can turn off show mask, and I can move the clarity down. You see we're already, let's, let's hit the preview key. Press P for preview. Alright, there. That's no, no quasi neutral density filter, and this is with the technique. Now, it's not that strong. You're saying that doesn't look like a neutral density filter to me. I'm going to go ahead and press new. Keep all my adjustments the same, and do it again. So now you can do it without the show mask on and just paint out that area, and you can start to see how it's affecting the image right away. Let's look at our mask to make sure we've covered everything, and we're missing a couple spots over here. It's a good thing to always press that show mask. Now it's still not quite pushing the limit. Guess what? I can add another one. Now, you might not have to do this three times. Now, for my sake, I shot this at an aperture of like f10 on a bright sunny day at about five o'clock in the afternoon. Actually, it's not bright sunny. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cloudy day. But my point is, the app, the shutter speed was about one three hundred twentieth of a second. So it's not really slow. If I was at one fifth of a second, I might only need to do this technique once or twice. So you kind of have to judge uh, just how much you want that to look like a neutral, neutral density. And for those of you who don't, do not know what neutral density filters are, it's a filter that you can put on the front of your lens that will stop down your lens uh, up to nine stops sometimes. Uh, and what that does is it allows your, your basically puts a, like a welder's uh, eyeglass in front of the lens so that all that light that comes in, uh, it takes like an aperture that would be something like f22 and turns it to an aperture of something like f 32, maybe a 40. I'm, I, haven't, I don't know the math, but it makes it take a lot longer for your sensor to record the picture. Hence, you get that faded movement in waterfalls or water, like you see in this one. So let's go ahead and show mask, make sure I got everything. I got everything. But here, you can also do some pretty uh, cool little individual things too. You can go to each one of these and you can do something like, uh, let's just go ahead and look at the highlights. So we can make the highlights a little bit brighter. That really makes that water stand out a little bit more. Maybe introduce a little bit more contrast in there. Kind of push the limit a little bit there too, see what happens. Maybe adjust the tint. No, that looks horrible. Why did I even bother to do that? Uh, let's just take that right back to zero. Um, shadows, nah, not so much. Maybe a little bit. Saturation. Yeah, it probably looks a little bit better with a little bit more saturation in it. But let's see what happens if we do the same thing to another one. Increase the highlights on this one. A little too much, a little too little. Now, let's look at our preview before and after. Here's our after. It looks like a quasi-neutral density filter. And here's after. It looks like just a normal picture at the park. 
So it's pretty cool what you can do right here in Adobe Camera Raw. It's a lot more powerful than people think, especially when we start using that adjustment brush. So just a quick short one for you today. Not going to go into any more post-processing stuff. Again, this is EverydayHDR.com. My name is Blake Rudis, and I just showed you how to fake a neutral density filter in Camera Raw. I hope you have a great weekend, and please, I implore you, visit EverydayHDR.com and go ahead and sign up for that subscription. Have a great weekend, and take care.